So what I want you to do is I want you to complete each of the columns based on the function that is listed at the top, looking back at the graphs that you just completed on the Desmos calculator and the draw it screen. So for f of x equals x, we know that the domain is all whole numbers. So you can list that as all real numbers, or you can list it as negative infinity to infinity. The range on f of x equals x, which is the straight line diagonal for the origin, is also all real numbers, or negative infinity to positive infinity. It is continuous from negative infinity to positive infinity. It is never decreasing. f of x equals x is always increasing. So it is increasing on the interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. It is symmetrical about the origin, so we say that is odd symmetry. Hopefully you remember some of these things from Algebra 2. We aren't going to talk about bounded or local extrema right now. Actually, this um, function is not does not have any local extrema. Oops. It has no horizontal asymptotes, so you can put not applicable, no vertical asymptotes, so not applicable. And the end behavior is a little bit hard to fit in this box, but as x approaches positive infinity, f of x approaches positive infinity. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches negative, negative infinity. So that shows you how to fill out the columns. For now, you can just skip the bounded and the local extrema unless you know how to do those. And, and you do know how to do the local extrema in some cases. Just to give you a little bit of another example, when we look at f of x equals 1 over x, this is our reciprocal function. This one will have asymptotes. And if you remember from last year, but you'll be able to see that from looking at your graphs, that the horizontal asymptote is the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0, and the vertical asymptote is x equals 0. And then you'll have to adapt your end behavior to match the graph. This is the graph that looks, that looks like this. So that it has the two asymptotes. And you'll see that when you graph the functions from your graphs of the functions on the previous slide.